morning. I'm sorry. You didn't, you didn't need to hear that. That was my inner Rick. Um, Chad, I made a sin of going to VR chat a little bit before my Half-Life Alex stream yesterday, uh, just to test some settings, just to get situated in VR. And I went into VR chat for about 10 minutes, went to a random location, and there was a girl who was made of anime reading a fan fiction about how Rick and Morty were... Well, you can imagine the rest. Welcome to the stream. Uh, today we're gonna do a long early stream with Animal Crossing and RimWorld, and then I will be back later on tonight with Dreams. So that's- that's what I'm doing today. Hope you're all okay. Hope you're doing well. Someone said, so that's why he felt sick yesterday. Um, I didn't really feel sick so much as... Oh, Isabel has like a stiff drink. Was that a whiskey? On the rocks? Damn, Isabel be drinking on the job? Don't, don't do that. It's vacation juice? Oh. Well. I guess we don't go outside for Tom Nook's announcements anymore, so I can take those signs down. Uh... That's a shame. It's 4.35 p.m. on Saturday, and today's announcements. Starting today, Hoor Island has its very own campsite. Campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of its residents. Can't think of anything more fitting for Hoor Island. Sure, we'll get plenty of uh, visitors, so take a moment to wander over and spread that island charm. Of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have time, please check with Tom Nook at Resident Services. Thanks, Isabel. It actually is whiskey. In Japan, Isabel actually taught the difference between whiskey and... Whiskey. With an E. Oh. And Blue Bear. I hear your place has a new room, Vine. You should let me come over and check your interior design. I'm sending you a little congrats, Prezi. Hope you love it. Thanks, Blue Bear. It's ice. It's it could be just iced tea. <laughs> I mean, that's the logical thing. Lighthouse. Garden gnome. KK metal. Um, writing poster. Book stands, huh. Someone said, sure, but alcohol dog funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> How many levels of irony are you on? Um, oh fuck. Yeah, there's- there's a new room. So this is now, uh... The room is now forbidden. You have to play- Fuck. Someone said, God, your room looks like a- such a fucking mess. I love it. I know, right? I just need some better furniture. I also exited the house by accident. That wasn't- That wasn't the intent. I just want to... All right, toolbox. Just stuff on the floor, you know. Wait, I don't want the duck up there. I wonder if I can still access my bed from this angle. Let's see. Yep. No problem. It's a nightstand. You get a mood boost. It's nice to be able to have your inventory around the whole house, you know? 
So that way I can um, enjoy. I can like do this. I had a, a weird dream last night. It just came back to me. What was it? Oh, I was at a beach. It was like an amalgamation of, of various beaches I'd been to throughout my life. And uh, there was a tsunami. But I was also raiding... Before the tsunami, I was raiding shitty pizza. It, this is all coming back to me right now. I was reviewing and raiding shitty pizza like the pizza guy. And it was like boardwalk pizza, so it wasn't good. But I went to one place that had good pizza, but he made it raw. It was like raw pizza. Um, and then I went to another place and it was just terrible, but it was wood fired. The oven was wood fired. And that's all I remember from the dream. The fuck kind of dream is that? I mean, I've been sleeping extra lately, so I don't know if like my brain has been affected by different like, uh, sleep schedules. But, yeah, I don't know, man. Well, this looks like ass. I mean, the wallpaper is nice, but... See, now, this is the type of wallpaper you don't hang anything on. Check if you can make a wand with bamboo. I don't believe I can. Um, yeah, it's a baby poster, I guess. So I can, um, put in storage. Put in storage. Uh, we're gonna use the lighthouse. The wallpaper moves, I know. Yeah, it's cool. I have another one that moves, too. Did you encounter the Scorsese bug again? No, he, he no. Uh, Marty Scorsese turned into a stick insect. With leaves on him. And, um, and then he just disappeared into the ground. Into a pile of leaves. Haven't seen him since. I'm waiting, I mean, I'm hoping I get to see him again in a dream. Yeah, I mean, that is, like, if I had my own cartoon show, perhaps I would make that into an episode. Where I would, you know, have, like, the main character turn into a stick insect. Marty! It's me, Marty Scorsese! I don't know. Oh, you're here. Hello. Hey, hi there. Oh, right. I didn't see you at the store a while back. I knew you looked familiar. Oh, I did see you, rather. No worries if you forgot. My name is Mabel, old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. Anyway, that's how I heard about Hoor Island and came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to open my own shop right here on the island, but I gotta build up customer base first. Try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, alright? Since you're, like, right here, you wanna see some of the stuff I'm selling? Uh, I mean, uh, if any spend 5k, what happens if I spend 5k? Vinny Plinket outfit. Oh fuck, the Plinket outfit is kind of available. You need 5k worth of stuff. Okay, so I'll just, I'll buy that stuff then. I need five things. Wrong. Wait, 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 wait. She needs to be here three times? So is it 5k or three times? You get her store after spending... 5k plus she needs to visit three times. You get her after two times. Oh my god! Uh, 
It reminds- like, someone sent me this. It was the duality of chat. You know. Just one of those good moments. I've had that on my desktop for like a week now. I haven't had a chance to show it, but it's... Good. I'm gonna spend 5k. So I spent 5k on stuff I really don't need. Should have read the rest of that. I don't know why I didn't. Um... What are you assholes doing in my house? We're here to fix your VCR, Mr. Plinkett. What the fuck? It's a VCR! Say your words again. Just saying hi. Thanks for coming and say hi. If you ever need anything, just give me a shout. It's- no, this is... She'll leave at 10 is what she said. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, this is- this is good. It looks like Plinkett is going to bury something. I don't know what. But, knowing Plinkett... You know... <clears throat> I also finished, or almost finished, the Tiger King documentary. Because it was just, like... I was just, like, kind of... Lazing around the past couple days. And, um... It's addictive. I feel like if you tried to write that stuff into a television show, or into some kind of fiction, people wouldn't believe it. It was so... Like, every twist and turn was just so insane, it sounded fake. Alright. I forget sometimes the Pro Controller has batteries, because it lasts for like fucking 80 hours. And it's charging. Oh, hey, you know, what brings you here? This day ain't over yet, you know, no matter what the sun says. Um... Oh, she, uh, she wants a gift. Hang on a minute. Let's... Let me get her a wasp first. Give her ugly clothing. Oh, no, 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 we're good, we get the wasp. The fucking DeVito face. <laughs> Gotta stop and smell the flowers now and then, you know, running around everywhere while you're out, don't you think? Oh, so you're, you're sitting now. I got you. It's a thing. I got you, um, a, a... This is for you. I, I mean, they seem to like wasps. Huh? Is that a wasp? Looks kind of cool. Thanks, Vine. I'll make sure its life totally rocks. All oh, right, it's gonna need a name. You know what? I'm just gonna call it Vine for now. Here, have a rubber apron. I think I already have that. Um, how many villagers now have a wasp named Vine in their house? They already have this.
Vinny, it looks like you're in a shitty detective movie. <laughs> Try to find out where the... ...where the tigers are buried. The ones that Tom Nook buried under the floorboards with Harrison Ford. I set my lighthouse down. Vinny, do you have a toilet yet? Oh, in real life? No. Oh god, another doll. Is it like... dog food? Blue rubber flooring. Dark parquet. Arabesque. Yellow quilt wall. Chic tea room wall. Chic tweets! How much money do I have to spend at Timmy and Tommy's for them to expand? Should I be buying, like, stuff from them? Like 70k? Dear lord. Alright, so I'll try to buy a little bit from them each day. I think it's a month after the shop opens. That's- that's a lot. That's- that's a long time. Like, I can get, like, a week or two, but... It's 20 days? Damn. Buy their limited items. Well, I guess I kinda have to buy this doll. Considering I already have another one. Yeah, they're really dragging this game out this time. Which I... I like, on one hand, and on, on the other hand, I'm like, oh man. Just, uh... Speed that up a little bit. Speed. Let me- let me craft multiple things. Can't wait for my shovel to break halfway through the money rock. That will happen at some point. And it's gonna be real upsetting. Put the dolls next to the gnomes. Okay. Someone was making a, um, a little statement about how, because we all have so much free time these days, or like we, you know, whatever, about, like, the game taking a long time to get going. Um... The thing is... Yeah, I know right now everyone's stuck inside, but if I want to make ten clam juice at the same time... That's just the game wasting my time. I still love this game. I know, God forbid, the Church of Isabel. You know, I don't want to do anything like that. I don't want to uh, upset Isabel, but... Yeah, there's a couple things that could use some, some speed up. You know, like what Freddie Mercury said? Speed up! That. Just a little bit. I get that the point of the game is to chill and relax, and I do. I like that. That's why I play Animal Crossing, and I, I love it very much. But yeah, there's a couple things that have been improved each game. And I feel like the next game on Switch 2 is going to be even better. If they keep it going. Sturgeon? No. Someone said, I want to chill, but fast. Exactly. Exactly. I want to speed chill. All oh, right, lighthouse. Um, there's another thing too. Apparently, you can't use the touch screen for shirts and stuff. Is that true? That looks cool. I mean, you can use the touch screen to draw on bulletin boards, but not for clothes. It seems like an obvious thing. Like I have the conductive 
stylus. And I would, you know, I would use that. That would be cool. They will probably update. Well, I know the game's gonna get lots of updates. There's even some speculation that that empty dock is gonna be for Captain. But... I, listen, as you know, I love all things Animal Crossing, but I also like to shit on video games a little bit if they have something that um, bothers me. I'm not gonna stop just for Animal Crossing, you know. Even Doom I love, but it's got some problems. I mean, I have problems, you know, so... That's okay. That said, this has been... You know... Overall, a joyous experience. I've been really happy with this game. And I'm still enjoying it. However, I would love a bigger shop. Please, Timmy and Tommy, expand. Please. Vinny, what game doesn't have problems? Um... Tetris. <laughs> Someone said Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I mean, I'm also inclined to say Chrono Trigger, but, you know, that's... Um... That's all very subjective. Link to the Past I, and Super Metroid, I have no problems with either of those games, pretty much. But I already know that, you know, that's that's still subjective. I know people that don't like Link to the Past very much because they're spoiled by other Zelda games or they just don't like it. No game is perfect. DMC2 is as close to perfection as one can get. Majora's Mask is perfect. Yet, you know, I can't agree with that. I think there's some pacing issues. I love Majora's Mask. I also am aware that there are so many people that do not like that game and cannot get through it. I have personal friends. Um, Angry Video Game Nerd does not really get the Majora's Mask thing very much. My friend Bill can't get through it. Um... I think it's just, early on, there's so much that you have to adapt to that it could really turn some people off. For me, it's close to perfect. I mean, I fucking love Majora's Mask, but, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? People mostly give up on it. Yeah. And I wonder, though, like, if people give up on it, does that make it any less good? If other people don't like it, no. But I think it speaks to, like, if someone's... You know... Thinking, like, Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game, one of the best games ever made, and then they can't play Majora. I wonder what happened there for them. I think a lot of it is early on in that game's, like, um, progression with the... Clock Town stuff. Oh! oh. Well, I got a new present for someone. So, I think Clocktown can kind of piss people off trying to guess that bomber's code. Um, and then the time limit for the first dungeon is where I know a lot of people have given up. So. Campsite. I always encourage people that give up on Majora to keep going because it's one of the most, I don't know, it, it sticks with you. Like, there's, it's hard to explain how Majora just kind of 
made me feel the first time I played it. Carp. Bay Diem. Vinny, are you gonna relocate your house today? Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather recommend N64 Majora or 3DS? Yeah, that's tough. Um, after watching Neryl's video about all the changes that really weren't all that great in Majora 3D, I would recommend the original. Um, they botched some of the physics and swimming and bosses, etc., etc. However, those 30 frames a second and those visuals are real nice. Ocarina, I can recommend the 3DS version, hands down. But Majora, it's... I don't know anymore. I'm really not sure. I think for newbies, the 3DS version is good. But a patched 3DS version would be even better. I really enjoy this music. Vinny, do you think the index was worth it? Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to more VR experiences that aren't just Half-Life Alex, but yeah. I'm I'm happy with it. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it between like weird games on stream and just messing around in VR. Um and of course Half-Life Alex is very good. No regrets. Super hot VR, when am I going to do more of that? Probably after Half-Life Alex. But that game... ...was probably the second best VR game I've played yet. So, yeah. I, I still have Virtual Reality Reality, or Virtual Virtual Reality. So that I have to look into as well. Wow. I don't know how I became the Wasp King. What do you think of the hourly music? Better or worse than New Leaf? I've only heard three songs. So far, it's good. I can't say it. I, I'm so, like... Um... Okay, so I know the New Leaf music pretty well, because I've been playing that game for years. This is all very new to me, but I've only heard a couple tracks. So that music is, like, engorged in my brain. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. Where this music is still growing on me. Let's visit Egbert, shall we? Someone said the song weirdly reminds me of Pilot Wing 64. Nothing wrong with that. Pilot Wing 64 has a fantastic soundtrack. Oh, I like this. It's like juice spigot. Check me out, I'm doing stuff. What are you doing? I'm making me a music stand, one of those. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. Check it out. Plans for a music stand. I can teach you if you want. What? A bug? Egbert is so fucking weird. I, I think Egbert is my favorite villager right now. Oh yeah, the floor is dirt. So... If I can make it, then I bet you could do it, too, in no time. Hey, you need something? Tomorrow's the day the folks from Happy Home Academy come to visit. The bugs in the floor always get excited when the Happy Home Academy comes by. I wonder what score I'll get. Oh, he's talking to... It. This is not an isolated incident. This dude is talking to bugs. For real. I heard you were jumping over rivers with a vaulting pole yesterday. Were you training for something? 
to escape the bugs. There it is. Loft bed with desk. Oh, that could be fun. It could be nice and... instead of a cardboard box. Thousand miles. Greedy weeder. Oh, I finally did a thousand weeds. That took a while. Next is two thousand. Oh, shit. Furniture and trees. Two thousand miles. Vinny, are you going to be okay if they really go forth and shut down the roads in New York City? I haven't heard about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll be okay. I have a lot of food. Um, I'm all stocked up. I'm really stocked up. Like, I did three separate stock up trips. So, but New York City is, is kind of a mess right now. And more and more people are not going anywhere, which is good, but I know a lot of people that, you know, work in the medical industry, and, um, they're still going to work, man. So that's... You know, I'm just sitting here playing fucking duck games, but, um... Yeah. So I hope, I hope everyone's okay, but I'll be alright, I think. Um, like I said, every time I have, like, a mild headache. I'm like, oh fuck, but I'm, I'm alright. I'm just staying home, and, uh... I have a lot of food. I made hamburgers today, and they were good. That's, that's all that's, like, literally all that's new in my life. I was messing around at the old tool bench, and I came up with this DIY idea that you're holding right now. Just had to share it, so I stuffed it into a bottle and floated it to you. Try it out, you won't be sorry. Rasher. Which one was Rasher, chat? Pig? Oh, I, I, yeah, I had Rasher at some point. Okay, Louie is asleep, holding a weight, standing right next to a river. Wait, no, he's not asleep. Unless he lifts in his sleep. Is he- what is he wearing, sunglasses? Oh, fuck! Sunglasses! Yo, this dude looks like he's working for some kind of, like, Russian mob. Yo, how are you? Hoo hoo ha. Uh... Do you want this? Huh? What do you got? Hoo hoo ha. Got a wasp! Hey, a wasp! Thanks, I'll be real careful with it. Did you know some bugs can lift several times their own body weight? Maybe it can teach me some moves. Here's something for you. A plover cardigan. Take it, don't be shy. What's going on? Yeah, Louis the muscle. Keeping it simple with a raincoat, eh? I get it. You don't want to take any attention away from those sublime triceps. What's the latest? Do you know if Desert went back to Aki Island? <laughs> yes, he did. I heard they hung out here for a really long time. Hoo -hoo -ah. I hope they come back. I'm always on the lookout for a new spotter. Look at that. Look at that nerdy look. I went from Mr. Plinkett to Mr. Stinkfist. I, that doesn't even make any sense. What are you doing? Chat, what the fuck is the frog doing? Hey, check it out. I got you some square glasses. Thanks. You always got my back, so this is kind of my way of repaying the favor. 
Gonna warn you now, if you keep being nice to me, this kind of thing's gonna ha keep happening, you know? Yeah... Mondo nerd confirmed. Hey, so the rock hitting yesterday, what was up with that? You trying to be a drummer? Ooh, -ee -ee, I feel just like Buddy Holly. Uh oh, and you're married, Tyler Moore. Vinny, are we getting scoot today? I, I don't know. Well, we're not getting him today, but I mean, I can try to figure out how to get him invited to the campsite. Scoot is, you know, we, we gotta wait a little while for scoot. Scoot is delayed gratification. Dioni tail. The Dionychus. I don't know how to say that. Dionychus is complete and a splendid specimen indeed. It's a remarkable creature. I think I got the facts already, right? From this one? You may have heard of its cousin, the Velociraptor, right? Right. This was the, um, the bigger one. Yep. Dionicus. Dionicus. Uh, everyone's got different pronunciations in chat. I'll ask Charles. Maybe Charles will know. Dionysus. It's the god of wine, that's all. Day or night, cuz. That's how you say it. Okay, cool. Ammonites were creatures that lived before and all the way through the age of dinosaurs. Because different species lived at different times, their shells are sometimes used as index fossils. In other words, these creatures act as markers in time, helping to identify the age of other formations. Who knows what other secrets lie hidden in those spiral shells? And there you have it. What was the Monty Python name? It was something Luxury Yacht? That's how you pronounce it. Throat Wobbler Mangrove. Or it was Raymond Luxury Yacht. And there was... <laughs> Throat Wobbler. <laughs> Tire Toy is the hot item. I am offering to you a wasp. I'm gonna keep the wasp. I'm gonna give it to a, a villager, maybe. I'm offering to you some... some crap. I'm gonna get rid of some of these tree branches. I already have so many of these things. Um, and I... And obviously they're easy to get more of. Oh, I gotta sell more bug. That's it. Oh man, you you would think uh, you would think that they would be worth more because they look so cool. But worth is not based on cool, apparently. So I've learned. That's I don't know. I mean, they could rip a tank in half. You know what I mean?
There's also 2,500 bells for a wasp. And I'm just giving these things to my islanders? Are you kidding me? I should be... You know... I should be selling them. Hello, feathers. Here, take it. Just, just take the wasp. It's yours. I, that's why they like it. Oh, what an extraordinary wasp. What a great specimen. Thanks for finding this for me. I love it. As a thank you, please take my thick stripes shirt. They just keep giving me, like, clothing in exchange for wasps. Which is cool. Boy, am I <laughs> hitting levels of dweeb. Henceforth, unbeknownst beforeth. Oh, hello there, Vine. Your home now has another room where once there was none. Yes, you can use it for whatever you like. Which brings us to the cost of your remodel. That'll be 3,400... Sorry. 348,000 bells. Hmm? Ah, yes. Please make your payments using Nookstop's A, B, D feature as you've done before. As always, it's ever been... Been so ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. What do you got in here? Ah, yeah. Yeah, branch. Ah. Yeah, lost and found. Someone lost this. Yeah. I want to relocate. 30,000. Let's do it. Excellent. Next step for you is to head out and find your new plot. You need to rope off some land at the location you'd like to move to. You'll find that the moving kit you need in your pockets. Yes. Vinny, will you ever hunt tarantulas in this game? I've done so a little bit. I don't know how to find Rantula Island. Why is moving a house less expensive than building a new room? You know what? You're asking... You're making too much sense! Cut down all trees, stumps, and rocks, and you will have Ranchula Island. Someone said this room upsets me. Make the Who's handshake. I mean, now is not a good time for that. Let's be real, but... They're, no, they can't even... get close enough... to handshake. It's just not possible. But I can have them get closer to the dollies. That's strange. That's just, I don't know why that exists or why that's happening. I'm sorry, chat. That's, I hate it. Kind of cool. You even get some hobbit hole windows.
Let's see. Cassette player looks like a cassette player. What do you know? Wow. I mean, it's better. For here, at least. How do I get up there? How the hell do I get up there? I can't get up there. You can't. Oh, that's lame. Vinny, why are you uh, running a gnome daycare in your home? Anything to pay the bells. It really does look like gnome daycare. It, it's kind of... It's kind of amazing. Um, I can actually even, like, heighten that, I think, a little bit. Give him some homework. Give him a race car bed. <laughs> no, gnome daycare. Gnome work. Oh, that's so lame. I love it. Yeah, race car bed. Can't really give them a, you know, proper tea party, sadly, but... Yeah, gnome daycare. <laughs> Get the dog food bowl for them to eat out of. Considering it... Put them on stools. I don't have uh, the stools required for this... for this sort of thing. I mean, listen, I, you kind of don't have a lot to work with when you first play Animal Crossing and you just, you're getting furniture. You can't really do a whole lot. So you have to make, you have to make it work. You have to make do. Finny's school desk. I do have some school stuff. Craft stools? Okay. Alright, I... Hang on a minute. Before we do that, I do have some school stuff. Hang on. Give them a wasp. Alright, class. We're gonna be playing with toys now. Uh, the homework is over. And here's a wasp! And you want a brand new wasp! Put the gnomes up there. That's a shame. Colonel, they're genome soldiers. Nope, Snake, those are just gnomes. Colonel, this bit wasn't designed to be funny. Good, because it wasn't. Snake. Snakey! That was a pretty good joke, Snakey! I 
forget that I have a workbench inside. Let's see, I can make this. Oh god, this thing. The longer you stare at it, the funnier it is. Music stand. <laughs> Censored balls? Was it supposed to have balls? I don't... Gross. Some of this wooden block toy stuff would have been- would be perfect for the gnome nursery, actually. This is a pot straight out of Zelda. It'd be cool if the crafting just took straight from your inventory at home. I mean, I say cool, it's just, a, again, a quality of life thing to speed things up. I want to, like I said, I want to relax faster. Just want to keep relaxing at the highest possible rate. You know, so we can relax even more, and then better, and then faster. Customize that too. <laughs> Colorful. Yeah, the gnome nursery is is real. It's gonna be a thing. as KK Metal plays in the other room. Ah, I can't get in. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, put stuff on the floor. I still have this, like, recipe here for the birdhouse that I haven't given away to anyone yet. So, I'm gonna eventually do that, I, sp I think. Try to, at least. Do you have an, a radio outside yet? Villagers can sing along to it if it plays music. Oh, that's cool. Then you remember Feng Shui for Happy Home? Ah, what? Feng Shui? No, I don't- I, I've never really done that in this game. That's like a little bit beyond my... I'm- I'm stupid. But that's a little beyond my level of... <laughs> it, it's perfect. The, yeah, that's- that's a little beyond me. But at some point, I'm gonna make them a little tea set. Like, uh, uh chairs and a table and stuff. The gnomes need to learn. It's just color placement in a direction, Vinny. Oh, that sounds like fun. So now, my, my new home. I don't want to get rid of that tree. Can I dig up that little tree, chat, and have it not be destroyed? Okay. So that's a money tree, I think.
I mean, this is a house with a nice view. No need for fruit for tiny tree. No fruit needed. Oh, well, goddamn. Small young money tree. Yeah, <laughs> young money. Small young money is is a really is a good rapper name. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a bridge. So I'm gonna need a bridge. Uh, which means I'm gonna need a lot of bells, which means I'm gonna need a lot of ranchu lows. sell some fruit. I know it looks like I'm almost sitting down, but I'm actually clenching my abs. Hoo-hoo-ha. Clenching? Tomorrow is turnip day. Yeah, yeah, I don't wake up early enough for turnip day. It's not fair. I never can do turnips. Isn't it all day? Yeah, it's- it's early. For me. My sleep schedule is all kinds of weird. It's before noon. I mean, I could- Am I really gonna, like, wake up a couple hours earlier than usual for baby games? And the answer is yes. Yes, I am. Last time I woke up early for a Nintendo-related thing was a fucking Smash Direct. From Byleth. You can wake up for Byleth, you can wake up for turnips. Buy high, sell low. That sounds good. That sounds like stonks. Buy left, sell more. Ah! Oh no, it was wardrobe I needed, yeah. Okay, let's see. I want to see how cool I can look. Two of the same striped shirt. <laughs> Recycled boot. Yeah, I don't think I'll be looking very cool at all. Confirm! Confirm!
This is a pretty cool look. In the Bronx, we had to survive on the streets. Just me and my duck bill. Bronx. B-R-O-N-K-S. That's correct. Our campsite is impressive. I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. Won't be long until we start getting some guests. When we have a guest, the tent will go up at the campsite, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Even though we weren't able to officially start business at the campsite yet, what we need is for visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you can do to help improve the island. Yes, yes. Do some weeding, plant some flowers, play some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. I've done a lot of that. Chat, how do I convince Tom Nook to get Scoot? How do I do this? I can't do it yet. That's later. Build, you have to get the first camper in first. God damn it. Oh, wow, man. Jesus. Fuck. Shit. Pretty complicated. Take some Mebo card villagers three times at the campsite for them to move in. Scoot is just now a long term goal. Unless we find him on an island. They don't appear on islands anymore, only through campsites. Fuck. KK <laughs> Rider. One guy wrong, you can still find them on islands. They, if you sell land, they will appear on islands. <laughs> Wouldn't mind two more floor lights. A little expensive, but... Two more of those. Sell land, meaning pre-placed house plots. Starting tomorrow, you can do that. Okay, because I can't do that now, so... Someone said, the one time Vinny reads my message, I give him wrong info on accident. Sorry, chat. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Chat and I will all forget about this in about three and a half minutes. I've had people, like, at conventions apologize to me for something they did in chat, like, two years ago. I'm like, dude, you could have totally gotten away with that. I did not remember that. That's gone. I, I, like, you're reminding me of the event, and I still don't know what's happening. Unless, of course, we have it on record. But anyway, let's go to a different island. This'll be on your permanent record, Mr. Funny! Oh, gee, Mr. Bone! 
Oh, fuck, you're gonna ruin my entire career. I'm never gonna be able to get a job now. That's right, funny. You're not gonna get a job ever. It's me, Jerry Bonefeld, from the Bonefeld Show and Doug. Chat, while I'm doing this, now would be a time to tell you that there is a fundraiser happening right now that Twitch is hosting that um, they asked me to, you know, be like a little bit of a, a part of. And so all I'm going to do is I have a donation link on my Twitch page. If you just scroll down, it goes to benefit people that were affected by COVID-19. Um, I donated a little bit, even if you want to spend a couple bucks, whatever. The information is at the bottom of my Twitch page. And, uh, you know, you'll get all the informations. I think it's, it's something that is good. That is nice. Let's see. Um... You know, they're doing, like, stuff all day on the official Twitch page, if you want to check it out. And it's called StreamAid 2020. And, yeah, all the appropriate links are on my page. Like, there's just musicians and people I have never heard of. Um, but they've raised, I think, over $2 million so far. So, if you want to have anything to do with that, like I said, they contacted me. They wanted me to, like, um, a number of streamers to kind of not necessarily be a part of the thing, even though some are. They're doing some competitive stuff, I think, but at the very least, I said I would mention it. Oh shit, Rain Island. You know what that means. See Locant. I think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy. Silo can't. Maybe. Fuck, CS. Um, someone said vine sauce. Okay, but how do we know if the donations are actually going to people who need it? There's been enough donation scams that people have to be cautious. I don't have that information. You you might have to find that information yourself. I mean, this is Twitch. Um, if if they get caught doing some shady shit, that's going to be a really fucking terrible thing. Imagine that. Imagine during this horrendous pandemic, Twitch is pocketing the money. Um, but you might want to ask Twitch because I don't have that information. I'm- I'm sorry about that. I'm not your guy. So, I mean, you know, look into it, find out if it's something that you think is real, and if it's not real in your estimation, then don't donate. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. It seems like, with everybody involved, everyone's just, like, they're just trying to help a horrendous situation that we're all in. So, I said I would help out a little bit and just mention it, and there you go. Vinny, are you real? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. Oh, there's the snail I needed. Vinny, Half-Life Alex just had the option for spectator-only subtitles. Oh, nice. Valve is listening.
Gabe in chat. It's like Devin chat, but Gabe in chat. Could this be a Storgen? forever. The most metal of all the fish. Seal camp. So what even what even is this island? Just big fish. Tons of big fish. Island, island. Generic island. Wasps again. Wrong. Yep. Yes. Where's the wasp compilation? Someone said, man, wasps are so underpowered in this game. They nerfed the wasps? Oh, fuck. But what about the caco demons? fish drying rack back in my day this is how all animal crossings looked So many big fish. Back 
Bass only island. Just focus on the sturgeon and the rocks worth 10k. Well, I need to donate a sturgeon first. Oh yeah, I caught a flounder. So it's not just all bass. Oops, all bass. Nope. Hit the rocks from maybe money. Can little islands like this have money rocks? Seems like the answer is yes. There's a special one that has a few. Wow. Oh, right, the cherry. <laughs> Oops. I know. I know I'm missing out. I, I'm just lazily... just whatever. Whatever I get from the rock is fine. Yeah, no, my outfit is... I have to support my family! That was the one. Fuck! Why was it so fast? That was probably it with how fast it was. Vinny, there are rare flowers here too. Shit. It was a tuna or a blue marlin, most likely. I mean, we're gonna be here for a little while fishing. I hope- I hope you don't mind, chat. We're gonna get rid of most of the- how much do the sea bass sell for again? They're really... not worth keeping, right? Like, 400? Not worth it. That looks like a big lad. It's a sea bass. Be the coelacanth. Oh, oh, that was it! Oh, no. I'm not fast enough. That was a big one. Oh, no. Football fish. Frank, it is a football pizza.
Okay, we're, we're, you know, there's some good fish here, but I'm not, I'm not fast. Not fast, chat. Use only audio, okay. Okay. Only the audio cues, here we go. Telling you this the coelacanth is, is here. I we I lost twice. Or I lost something even more interesting. Or almost as interesting. That's the big boy right there. That that lad is huge. Sturgeon. Oh! We're playing those mind games together. That certainly seemed Sturgeon-esque. Got very nervous. No, that, that these don't seem that big. Yeah, it's better if you close your eyes and just use the audio. It really is. Founder. Sturgeon is an ocean, right? I'm also looking for... ...the coelacanth. Because it is raining here. How much is olive flounder, chat? Can I maybe, like, stockpile those and sell those? 800? It's a little bit better. No, I still didn't get a string fish. C plus. Why can't you stack the fish? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> um, we wouldn't want to relax too quickly, is my answer. Damn. 
snapper. Uh, snapper sails, chat? It clipped into the ground? I didn't even see it. I was not looking. 3k for a red snapper, not bad! Hey, at the very least... I think I just released a freshwater fish into the ocean. Uh-oh. Um, at the very least... I'm making some money from fishing and collecting miles. Can't tell if that's a big fish or a regular fish or we'll just not cross the ocean or the, the river. Good one. This is gonna be a good one. It's, uh, fuck. Why is this so exciting, though? This shouldn't be as interesting or fun or as exciting as it is. And yet, I'm, like, captivated by the fishing in this game. Knowing that I could get the next big catch. And I can pose with it. Sea bass. No, I'll have flounder. I know what it's already about. What are you? Oh my god! You can fish on the pier, too. You can release them as soon as you catch them. Yeah, I, I don't know why I haven't been doing that. No more holding sea bass, that's it. Done. Use bait to accelerate the suffering. I find that to be even a slower process, because then you have to dig the clam, you have to make the clam, Become the clam, one clam at a time, slam the clam, I like that the dude is just standing outside waiting for me. Oh god, hurry the fuck up, you're not gonna catch a goddamn fish. Please. Just go inside your plane and hang out. Listen to the radio. Relax. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! I see that sturgeon over there. Well, I can't release. Never mind. Yeah, this this appears to be too small.
telling you, man, I had that coelacanth twice. That was with my eyes closed. That boy looked a little too small. Ear blind? Yeah, yes. That seems like a bigger fish. Um, no, that's a sea bass. That's cool. Ah! Don't let the big fish win. I know. Try not to. Vinny, could you give your thoughts on the classic novel Moby Dick? I can't do that, but I can give you my thoughts! On Keanu Reeves. I like the part where Moby Wan Kenobi finds Hans in the bar. And then Hans shoots the lizard man. That was always my favorite part. McClunky. That, that was another good part that was there since I was a child. McClunky. You know, that's it's a really interesting moment because, uh, you know. Previously, when Hans would shoot um, the Gunga, uh, he w he wouldn't say anything. But, but now we've given him motivation, and now he says, uh, "McClunky." So it's really, it's like poetry. It rhymes. I have not read Moby Dick. Moby what? What did I say? Moby Dick? Yeah, I haven't read that in years, so... My memories of Moby Dick have been replaced by memories of... Um... Drachma and Rachnum. Moby Duck? I'd... I'd read that. Um... I think of Skies of Arcadia... Now, when I think about Moby Dick. What's dropma? No, I I didn't say dropma. Drachma. Drachma. Oh my god! All right, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on this island. Maybe. Oh god, another fishing rod, gone. I'm 
just gonna, like, uh, fish a, a couple more times. Changing the color of the rod resets the wear. I, I know, I also don't have any more customization uh, thingies on me. This is my fresh hell. Trying to catch the goddamn sturgeon and the coelacanth. I mean, forget about the stringfish. That's never happening. Yeah, clip through the rocks. That's a tuna. It's a little off-key. That is a shiny, good graphic fish. Look at those graphics on that fish, wow. So that's my first tuna. Finally got something worth it. Clunky. That one looks too small. Vinny, it's not. Vinny, that was it? Okay. Alright, sure. That's the sea bass, I know. It's a rare, magical fish. I see it. I see the coelacanth. That, that, uh, that top left one. That one. That's the one. No, it's too small. Never mind. Right, very good football fish. I mean, anything other than sea bass is good because it's sell. So I'll take that. I waited too long. Oh, good! Um, price on the football? Twenty-five? Hundred? That's good.
two good ones, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah! Alright. I'll take those. Make some decent bells on the way back. What are you doing? That was turd-like. Tough football, Danny. Vinny, how many times have you seen The Room? I think I've seen The Room more than every other movie in my life. Except Star Wars and Blade Runner. Because... Yeah, I, I know, I know, and, and I'll explain. Because it is one of those movies that I showed everyone I knew. Sometimes one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes in groups. Um... And it ended up just becoming a movie that just got, like, and I saw it in the theater with Tommy there in his underwear. I mean, selling underwear. So... Wow, that's a big fish. I already, um... I already caught one of these ore fish so I can sell that one. That's all profit. Some gold-plated latinum, in fact. Fish stunks. Yeah, I'll just end up replacing, like, flounders if I need to. If I get more fish that are worth more money. But, anyway, yeah, yeah, I saw the room way too many times. I've... It didn't... I didn't mean it to happen that way, it just kind of did. <laughs> Same for Troll 2. Troll 2 is another movie that ended up being shown to everyone I knew several times at some points because it was just so funny. It was like a good drinking game movie, too. Like, take a shot every time someone says Nilbog. Take a shot every time the acting is terrible, which is just the whole movie. Gablins? Who are the Gablins? See that fish by them rocks?
What would it rip apart? Good thing it was a bass. Pro bass fishing. Yeah, I don't know. In my mind, it, I just like press the button. And then my mind is also like, don't press the button. And then I'm like, press the button. And then don't press the button. And then I. I Surgeons live at the mouths of rivers, right. Yeah. Yeah, the one I, I missed could have been a sturgeon, even though the shadow didn't look big enough. This is... becoming a very profitable trip. This isn't it, but the one back there is. That one's big. What the hell? Last from the past, I caught a coelacanth. Think positive. Be a coelocan. But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it? Nah. Nah, throw it back in. We don't need it. Got it. Fucking finally. Tuna 2, let's go. No, 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 this is sea bass. Um, I'm gonna try to do sturgeon a bit. Let's see if we can get sturgeon. for a freak, uh, power accident to turn off my television and my game and everything. That's gonna be fun. You can scare away the other fish that spawn at the mouth of the... Okay. So maybe I'll just go from here to here. The switch is outage-proof. Oh yeah, you're right! The only thing that could happen is just like the switch could Im explode. I don't think this is enough distance. Zzz. Those look big. C plus.
you need to scare the river fish with a pole. Someone said, put your pole in the water and see what a fish does, Kriegasm. Okay. Have you ever heard of Piranha 3D? Classic film. You don't want to test your water with the pole. Test the water with your... Never mind. Okay, fish have been scared. For a long time, they can sense the fear. Tuna number two! Tuna number two! Tuna number two! Uh, 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 oh, base. Sorry, bass. Sea base. I wonder how far do I have to go to reset the fish? Very far? If I see, like, a massive shadow, I might go for it. Otherwise, I'm just going for the sturgeon now. It's hard to tell, sometimes, what shadows are what. Ah, yes, the sturgeon. It doesn't seem big enough. No outline? What do you mean, outline? Benny, use bait, it's easier. Uh, I don't know, I don't feel like catching clams. And then... You know, making the, the stuff. There are no clams here. Yeah, this is not my home island. That fish is regular size, never mind, but we'll try anyway. You're a fisher, Harry. These... These wouldn't be the ones. That 
was a big one. That was a big one. I lost it. This is it. The Sturgeon. It's the Sturgeon General's warning. Yes! Caught a sturgeon. I wonder if it can perform sturgery. Let it go? No. Nope. All that just to let it go, huh? Maybe it's a sign from above, chat, that I should stop fishing now. The very last fish I catch is the one I needed. And that's a wrap. Now I have to get the string fish. You can go for that here. No, no, no. I still have some time on the string fish. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna get that today. Um, we need some rim world up in, in this life. Oh, music I haven't heard yet. Yes, it's time to donate some fish. I have... four items. First... the sturgeon. Might I interest you in a few fascinating facts? Okay, okay. The sturgeon is a large and long-lived river fish which has changed little in the last 300 million years. One curious behavior of theirs is leaping high out of the water and falling back onto their sides. Or in on their sides. The smacking sounds of their re-entry can be heard for up to half a mile away, likely more underwater. No one knows why they do it, but I like to think it's their impression of a bread of bread popping out of a toaster. Interesting. Strange fish. Maybe they're just having fun. Snail. <clears throat> Snails are not insects, I'll admit, but they are just as revolting to me. Snails are mollusks, you see, and are born wearing shells they cannot remove. Instead, their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. Whew! They must get heavy, don't you know? Um, I suppose that's why they need a trail of mucus to move around. Truly foul form of transportation. Ooh. Tuna. Chat, what's the only fish with two knees? Tuna fish. Oh, uh, the tuna is a large ocean fish. It's big. Besides its great size, it's notable for continuing to swim even when it's sleeping. Well, to be fair, if it doesn't keep swimming, it won't be able to breathe, and it will, of course, die. But sleep should be restful. At what? If I were the tuna, I'd feel very hard done by. And there you have it. And... The coelacanth. Okay, so, the coelacanth is a deep-sea fish that has been around since the age of the dinosaurs. They were long thought extinct, so when living specimens were discovered, it was quite a shock. I'll just have to figure out where in the museum to display it. Fish or fossils? 
And there you have it. Oh, that's it? Okay. That was a really lucky island for fishing. Sturgeon. Horse mackerel, anchovy, and tuna. Shiny, very shiny fish. There we go. Some good ones here. Some weird ones. Or fish, football fish. And coelacanth. I am the wasp, wasp king. <laughs> now he needs a barrel eye. I need the string fish and the barrel. What the fuck is the barrel eye? Where does that spawn? And a blue marlin. 9 p.m. at night. Just fishing at night in the ocean. Okay. Size 2, 9 p.m. or later. Okay. I might have enough to build a bridge. Which almost seems a little bit like a waste, but it'll look cool, so... Finny fossil? I missed a fossil? Oh, fuck. Okay, let's see how much I can sell. Oh, I have a fossil for donation. Right. This is going to be a decent amount of money. 42,000? It's, it's fine. I still need more for bridge. Hundred sixty nine K for decent wood bridge. You can pay off the bridge over time. This is the Dione tail. Quite remarkable. We already have one. You can, but you can't do more than one project at a time. Alright, well I'm gonna build a decent bridge then. If you set the bridge now, villagers can pitch in. Do they actually really pitch in in this game though? Not really. Hardly. These animals are broke. Someone said I only got 185 bells in one night. I'm gonna build the bridge. Again, even though you can only have one project up at a, at a time, I'm definitely going to want that. I like how this bridge is going to cost half of my house upgrade. Take the sunglasses off. Did you change your outfit? When did it get so late? How long have I been out here? I saw you flying around on your vaulting pole yesterday. Is that why your abs are amazing?
You might consider an incline since you already have a bridge. No, I want to bring the, the bridge to my island. My little island. An incline would be nice too, though. Um, bridge. I mean, I could just get this one, which is a little cheaper. I don't really like these three, so that's good. Um, the stone one looks nice. Suspension's not too bad. Stone is cool. Wooden is nice. They're all... Stone. Yeah. This is all just a vanity project for my house. I mean, this isn't even going anywhere important. It just leads to one island and, and that's it. to lead directly to my house. Fuck! I want it to go directly into... Like, I don't want it to be un... I want it to be even! Oh, no. Move the house again? Oh, no! <laughs> Terraform it? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while for terraforming. Um, try setting it from the other side. You ain't happening. It was warm when I sat down here. Another sign that springs arrived. Um... This could be kind of cool. Yep. That looks good. It also means I, I don't have a bridge leading directly to my front door. Which is kind of cool. to relocate some trees too to even it out um it's a perfect spot it's fine part of the kit you set up lloyd will stay and collect donations for the construction fees island residents can contribute a little little by little once we reach our goal construction will begin of course you can feel free to make whatever hefty donations you want vine okay so gyroids kind of exist in this game hello good friend I'm taking donations for a stone bridge. Wow, that voice, jeez. Um, I'll spare a little bit. Just to free up some inventory room, but tomorrow I want to do turnips. So we'll just get this started. Two bells. Yeah, I think that's it for Animal Crossing. I think I've run out of things to do for now. 
All right, frog. Tell me a thing. Hi, frog. Did you see that Mabel's around? Have you talked to her yet? You know, it's tough to find decent threads out here sometimes, but Mabel's got the hookup. Whoa, Vine, are you seriously wearing some slip-on loafers? Only a real pro can style all, all the way to their toes, you know. Alright. I know that was sarcasm. See, are the gnomes learning? Rimworld, up next. So, stick around. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna stream Dreams tonight, later on. So, if you wanna come back for late night Dreams after Rimworld. It's a lot of streaming today, but... Why not? Stick around, though. Uh, quick BRB, and then Rimworld. <laughs> 